For this case study, the best solution would be to establish a transportation checklist that includes a decision tree for RN or physician required transportation escorts. The developing team would consist of physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, or anyone else that would be involved within this scope of practice. The developing team would want to review checklists that are already available and supported by evidence-based practice. They would also want to develop a decision tree to develop protocols regarding RN required transportation versus physician required transportation. The developing team would want to ensure that the checklist is specific to this patient population as well as supported by hospitals protocols that are already in place. Another thing to consider would be whether this checklist would be a physical paper checklist to be completed or something that would be automatically populated within the electronic patient chart. Checklists would be reviewed on a monthly basis to ensure that they are completed correctly and to verify patient outcomes. In case there is an adverse event, the checklist would want to be reviewed immediately, preferably within one week. Because adverse events don't happen very often, it may take some time to establish sufficient data to support that the checklists are effective. Once they are deemed effective, they can be made into an official hospital protocol. This can take as little as a year or potentially longer. Thank you.